Active campaign URL click tracking so that you can do something based on your contacts behavior on your site. Not just page visits, but actual link clicks. In this video, we're going to cover whitelisting your domain inside Active Campaign, getting the appropriate information. There'll be a plugin to install that will help with this. And then we'll set up an automation that uses event tracking. And then finally, I'm going to tell you why I don't really like this. So let's dive in. Tracking. You're going to want to turn on site tracking. You're going to add your domain here or domains that you're going to install this plugin on. And then you want to enable event tracking. Your event key is right there, so you can copy and save that one. If you ever change it, you'll need to update anywhere that you've used it. And to find your account ID, you want to click on event tracking API. Well, that might be active campaign. Anyways, it's right there. So copy those two and save them off somewhere. Now, next step is to get the plugin. Go here, click on download the plugin. And then once that's downloaded, you're going to want to go to your WordPress site, log in, and you're going to add new plugin. Upload the plugin you just downloaded, choose the file. It should be this Integrate Proactive Campaign click tracking zip file. Install it, activate it, go to settings, and then click on this. And then provide the two pieces of information that you collected previously from inside your Active Campaign account. And then go ahead and save those changes. That's all the configuration you need to do at this time. There's nothing else inside WordPress. So from now on, if you've ever sent a person to your site with the question mark email equals and then their email address, you can track links from there. So let's go send an email out and we'll test that link. So I'm going to go to campaigns. I'll create new campaign. I've sent myself an email that has a link email appended at the end. So take a look at this URL. This is what you want to put in your um, email to get sent out. So now anytime I click on any of the links in here, I, that's going to get recorded inside your active campaign account. So let's go look up this contact just to make sure this happens. And I've already tested it out once. So we're not starting from scratch here. So that was a six minutes ago. I'm going to go ahead and click on a link. For instance, this hello world link. And then here's the one thing. One of the things I don't really like here is it might not show up right away. There can be a lag sometimes a few seconds or minutes or even longer, but that one worked. So immediately it shows up right there inside the um, active campaign contact dashboard. Now, if you notice, I no longer have the question mark email equals there. However, I've been cookied so that now whenever I visit this site on this device, it will keep track of my link clicks. So what if I click on here? Now I want to go back in here and check that that happened. So there it did. If I go externally, in the case this goes to WordPress, And I'm going to refresh the page. And there it is. So that's how the uh, link tracking plugin works. Now let's take advantage of it inside an automation. So I'm going to create an automation that takes into account that. And this is one of those things where I guess I'm not really too excited about this because it can kind of wreak havoc. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to trigger based on an event is recorded. And because I've only got one uh, event, that's the only thing that shows up. And I'm going to set it to multiple times. Now the thing to keep track of is person can get put into here many, many times. And if you've got some conflicting logic in there, that might be problematic. So I will call this URL click tracking. I'm going to go ahead and make it active right away so that when uh, I add myself again or I click on another link, let's just simply do an if statement. And we'll base it on event data, event URL click. Now you can toggle based on happened, did not, most recent value is, most recent data value is not, is greater than. So if there's a number associated with that, then you can do that. Or if it's ever been something. So I'm going to use most recent value is. I'm going to go back and I am going to copy this URL right here. 
and show you what's possible. So if the most recent value is this, we're gonna go down the yes path. If it isn't, we'll go down the no, no, no path. So I'm just gonna put a wait in here so you can see, see me getting queued up. And I will also put a wait here. So let's simply do something else. I'm gonna click on the hello world and if I refresh this, I should be in the no path. And there I am. Now, if I click on that, let us let me click on that same one again. So there should be two of me in the no path. And there is. <clears throat> now, this one is this link right here, which I believe is the month. So if I click on this, there should be one person over here in the yes path. And there is, so it's working the way it should. And while this uh, automation works, I don't think, I would not necessarily advise it. It can get really busy. You can have a lot of occurrences of the same contact in there, and that can wreak havoc, if you will, on your account. The other thing I don't like too much about this is, what if somebody has signed up with multiple emails to your list? So if they come in with one email, they get your first email, they click on a link, they're tracked. They get the next email from a different email, a different email address of theirs, they click on that. That changes where they've been. So you don't have a complete picture. So for that reason, I'm a little reluctant to use this. I like the idea of using it basically for one specific link and doing something based on that. But anyway, that is how you can track link clicks on your site using ActiveCampaign and a WordPress plugin.